And let's start the class. Everybody, hands together. Ni hao. Well, just starting with the holding balls. We always practice hold balls. Okay, let the one hand up, one hand down. Hold the ball in front, and just turn and rotate the hands. And make a ball bigger. And match your match your your breathings. When you rotate and inhale and then exhale. So that is a good Practice good exercises in the morning, and make yourself focus. Your center yourself. Focus inside. Okay. So let the ball connect to your dantian, your spine, and roll it center. Once you get used to it, then you can start do the moving. That white crane stretch wings. The bottom hand pull up, see that's the pose. And you can turn the palms, hold the board again, switch hands. Switch hands. One more time. Okay, now hold the ball. We're gonna separate the hands, different direction. Hold the ball. Separate different direction. And you can start it from small ball. Just. Turn and open. Turn and open. Hold the ball. Part the hands. And remember, when you hold the ball, and the bottom hand go out. About every time, the bottom hand goes out. When you hold the ball, you start turning the body. When you pop the hands. Turn your body to. On my right, hold the ball on the right. My right hand on top, and the left hand go up. Left hand on top, and separate. Turn the body, one side. To the other. Turn a little more.
Now you bend the knees a little bit. Bend the knees. Now you can turn a little more. So as you turn the body, and as your hand goes up, you are, by turning the body, to let the hands go up. See from here? Because my body turns and get my hand up. Okay, the other side, my body turns and open up my hands. See what I'm trying to do here, that's my new teaching style I mentioned about it, is starting from the smaller move. Smaller movement would let you more focus on the move where to connect to. Say when you do the move, you connect to your elbow, shoulders, and then the hips and your feet. And this is the center, Dan Ten. So you connect to the center. From there on, you make the move bigger. Do the same path, but bigger movements. So that way will let you get to the right direction. That's more important. Oh, I have my hand has to go out here. It's not uh, uh, the, that's the pose, but more important is from the starting point, from where to get up there. So if it, this is martial arts in Chinese can be fighting, and doesn't matter the hands, how far it goes. Have to go out further. And, but when, once you get to the right direction, and you know where to go, you know how to connect to your body, put the strong, most power on your move. Inhale, and then exhale. One more time. Here, starting the uh, the last movement, white crane stretch wings. From here, we're gonna do the next move is a flying, diagonal flying, which is, we just did learn that park the arms, park the hands, diagonal direction. So from here, starting holding the ball, you're gonna step back. It's not step back. It's just to the side and back. When you step to the back, let the heel down first. And then turn the body and point it to the left. Because we're gonna do 
the left side, open up to the left side. Okay? So, and <coughs> let's practice the, the footwork and heel down, turn, and then pivot the right foot forward about 45 degrees. Okay, so that is the step. So from here, we, when you hold the ball on my right, on the right, and then reach back, turn, and separate the hands. So that's what we learned yesterday. And we're going to do the, the other side. So how we do this the other side, you're going to hold the ball on the left and then do the same thing, the right foot put down and turn and separate the hands. So from here, the transition from the uh, from the stretch wings, you can hold the ball on the right and part the hands to the left. From there, we're going to the right side. You're gonna shift and then pivot and hold the ball first, and then put the heel down. Put the foot down, turn, and pivot the left foot forward. So do the same thing on the, on the left side, okay? So uh, let's practice the footwork first. And you're holding the ball on, on the right side. You will tap, you tap your left foot, and then you bend the knees and put the heel down to the back and put it down, shift, turn and pivot the right foot forward. So from here, shift the weight back, pivot the left foot and pull the right foot in and tap, pull it in and then step back, put the heel down. Turn and pivot the left foot. So let me turn around and do that. And you can follow me the right and the left. Pivot the right foot. Left foot, tap, and step, reach back, heel down, turn, pivot, shift, turn, and reach down, turn, and pivot. So that's the footwork. You reach to the back, heel down first, then turn and pivot. This the bow stands to your left. Once you have to go to the other side, you shift the weight pivot back, now pull your right foot in before you step back, okay? Then turn, put your foot down and tur keep turning and pivot your left foot. So now you're facing to the right. 
the hands. Let's hold the ball. Let's hold the ball on the right first. Step back. Turn. And pivot. So once you, once you sit, yeah, the heel down. Once the heel down here, and the hand still stay at the same position. When you start turning, that is the time you separate the hands. At the end, when you set the pose, also pivot your right foot forward and stop right there. And hold the ball on the right. Heel, toes, and pivot. One more time. Heel, turn, and part the hands. Shift, turn, hold the ball on the left, heel, and turn, pivot. So when you starting from here, you're going to shift the weight to the back and turn your body. See, when you, the left foot pivot, you not just pivot your foot. You're going to turn the body, let it, let it turn naturally, no twisting. And then shift the weight back to your left foot, pull your right foot in. That is the time you hold the ball. Okay, that's the starting from, from to the other side. So from here, shift back, turn, and hold the ball. See, as you see, my hand's still here. When I hold the ball, my hand come in, hold the ball. I also pick up my foot, come in at the same time. Okay, so let's try that together. Shift back, pivot, and hold the ball. Reach, reach back, turn, and pivot. We just try two, to, two more times. Starting from here, shift and turn and hold, heel and stretch wings. No, not stretch wings. And diagonal flying. You are flying diagonally. Okay, one more time. To the left. Pivot. Turn. Hold the ball. Put heel down. And turn and pivot. So, as a, you see that you do the left side first and then do the right side. You might find out that 
<laughs> and more difficult on, on one side, the right side or the left side. So that's your brain training. Train your brain that control your move the same. Try to move the same way. Try to move the same direction. Try to do the same height. So that is the training for, this, for your mind, for your brain. That's a really good one to both sides. Okay, let's say I, starting from the beginning, get to this point. Okay, so we will starting and fit together. And step to the right, arms up and down. Hold the ball to the left and turn to the right and stretch wings. Hold the ball on the right, reach back, turn and pivot. Hold the ball to the left, step back, and prop the hands. Let me turn around, do the same thing, and then follow, follow me and from the back. Sink, step, center yourself, arms up and down. Hold the ball to the left, step back, stretch wings. Hold the ball on the right and heel down, turn and to the left. Shift, hold the ball to the left, step back and separate the hands. So, how do you feel about it? Is it okay? <laughs> um, what we need is practice more and try to find a way and understanding the move, then get the uh, move to the right path, okay? And let's practice a little more and let me turn around and one more time. Step to the right, arms up and down. Hold the ball to the left, step back, Stretch wings. Hold the ball to the right. Reach back. Separate to the left. Shift back. Hold the ball to the left. Reach back. And separate the hands. So that is the, the move for the diagonal flying. Using your body turn and put your hands, lead your hands, go up.
So when, when you do, do this, you just uh, make yourself uh, free. Once you learn the move, where to go, and let the body relax, at the beginning when you're learning, of course, oh, I gotta got do this, do that. But once you learn the move, just let your body free. to the move. And mostly, like uh, what I mentioned before, the most part, more important is connecting. How to connect from the bottom of your feet, come up, get to your hands. That's the starting point of the bottom of your feet and connect to your hip and your shoulders and elbows to the hands. You see that? It is let the let the strings send it from the bottom up and get to the fingertips. So as you consider this, the whip, and the body is the handle, the hand, the finger is the tip, the whip, and the tip, and get the, get the power coming up all the way, send, to your finger, okay? That's the fingertip. So that is the, the practice point we need to aware of connecting. It's very important. Connect from the bottom to the top. That's the end. Even when you uh, do the small, small move, small move, you are going to feel that where it is, the point is, get to elbow, get to the wrist, get to the hands. Okay? And let's do one more time. Step to the right, arms up, and down. Hold the ball to the left, step back, stretch wings. Hold the ball on the right, step back, and separate hands. Hold the ball on the left. And separate the hands. So <laughs> and it's in inside the house and in inward and we don't have much I don't have much room and just say do what we can. Uh, when you practice find a bigger place and feel free to to do do your your exercises, okay? So that is the <laughs> class for today, and diagonal flying, okay? Everybody, hands together. Thank you.